What's up guys, it's Ryan, and today we're looking at the LEGO Super Mario 2020 announcement. This announcement was made just last night, so it's quite fresh in the mind right now. Let's get into it. Yahoo! So we already knew there was one Super Mario set coming out this summer, based on the reveal on the LEGO Twitter account. This set is called the Adventures with Mario Starter Course. This set very much seems like a starter kit for Mario. It will likely be the first set that you want to purchase if you want to get into this kind of LEGO. As you can see, it includes a Mario figure, a Goomba, and a Bowser Jr. figure. It basically seems to be depicting an entire Mario level, which I guess is fairly cool. This new range is wildly different to anything we've ever seen before. The Mario figure has LCD and screens within him and everything. It's very, very weird, but I guess everything has to evolve at some point. This first set is 231 pieces and will retail for £49.99. You can pre-order this item today and it will ship by the 10th of August 2020. So that's what we already knew. Now let's talk about what we just found out last night. LEGO announced three new Mario sets and they're quite wildly different in sizing. You've got one tiny one, one medium sized one, and quite a large one. Let's start off with the small one first. So this set is called the Monty Mole and Super Mushroom Expansion Set. It consists of 163 pieces. This seems like one of those sets you want to buy a few of in order to kind of expand your Mario world. It includes a power block and a toad figure. It's currently retailing for $14.99, but it's also been given out as a free item if you purchase the original starter pack. But only if you pre-order it. Next up, we have the medium size set. This is called the Piranha Plant Power Slide Expansion Set. Quite a mouthful. This set includes a Koopa Trooper and a Goomba, and two Piranha Plants in a kind of slide thing. This is slightly bigger than the other expansion set, but it's still quite a small set overall, and this set will retail for $29.99. And finally, we have the big set. It's called the Bowser's Castle Boss Battered Expansion Set. Another mouthful. This set includes a Dry Bones, a Bowser, and a Mario figure, as well as a Ghost and a little Flaming Guy as well. This set actually looks quite impressive. I love the stone Bowser figure sitting in the castle behind him. However, of course, this set is also the most pricey. It comes in at a whopping $99.99. Whilst this is the nicest looking set out of all of them, I'm not quite sure it justifies that price tag. Also, even though this is called an expansion set, it still comes with another Mario figure. That's quite annoying. You're going to likely buy the starter kit first, and then if you buy this expansion set on top of it, you're going to end up having two Mario figures. And no one wants that. I think when we heard about the announcement of Nintendo working with LEGO for a Mario partnership, we were all quite excited. But when these sets have been unveiled, we're all kind of a bit let down, I suppose. Hopefully in the future, they'll release versions of these sets that are micro-sized, so you can actually have Mario as a normal-sized minifigure instead of this big blocky guy with the TV in his chest. This is quite a radical change for LEGO, but I suppose that's just natural. You have to keep advancing. I'm just not quite sure if the old school fans like me and many others are going to be particularly thrilled with these sets. It will be interesting to see how they do come August time. Apparently there will be a free app launching on August the 1st. It serves to help with your progression through the Mario levels and keeping track of the scores you get as you finish your levels. The app also provides building ideas and tools that players can use to start planning out their levels before they build them. This is definitely a new thing that LEGO are pushing quite hard. First of all with Hidden Side and now with this stuff. The kind of integration between the LEGO and your mobile device. I think we're definitely seeing the future of LEGO expanding right before our eyes right now. I think only time will tell to see how it fares. Right now, I'm quite sceptical of it, but you never know, I could be surprised. The one thing I do like about these sets is that they're all quite free form, so you can build the level any way you want within the set that you get, rather than it being a single purpose design. I still wish they had done exactly the same thing, just on a smaller scale, with a Mario minifigure. Also that way, you can make the levels bigger from Mario's perspective, while still keeping the same size as they are currently. I'm sure they discussed that when they were coming up with this range and for some reason they didn't go for it so they must have seen a gap in the market I suppose. It will definitely be interesting to see how it performs in August. Who knows, in a few months we could all be desperate to get our hands on these sets. Let me know how you guys feel about these new sets and if you're going to be buying any of them or if you've pre-ordered some of them already. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.